So we got here in Frankfurt and before getting off the train I realized my backpack was through stolen. It's my medical bag as well as my allergy bag. Here at Amsterdam Central, going to Frankfurt, Germany today. So it'll be the second country on this trip. Here's our train. Had a hard time finding a place where all our big luggage is. People aren't used to uh, carrying two extra large bags. to the forest and my ears are starting to pop. So we got here in Frankfurt and before getting off the train I realized my backpack was through stolen. Somebody took it and I uh, don't know when. Uh, we both fell asleep briefly and uh, it's my medical bag as well as my allergy bag. has new furniture smells and paint odors so I don't think we can stay here so we're out of a place to stay again and I don't have my mask because whoever stole my backpack on the train stole my mask too <laughs> Second day here in Frankfurt, it's Friday. Uh, last night after the problem at the Residence Inn, uh, I was able to get a last minute booking here at the West End Grand Frankfurt Hotel. Just, it's like two blocks or three blocks from the Residence Inn. So uh, this one is obviously a lot nicer. And uh, I guess we settled in around 7, 7 p.m. and finally, so able to rest and luckily this hotel also has a like a members only executive lounge kind of thing so uh, we got to go there and get some dinner um, overall I'm f feeling okay just uh, we have to go out later today uh, maybe buy a temporary mask it's not going to be enough for uh, replacing my big uh, p100 uh, painters uh, industrial mask but uh, it's gonna have to do until we get back to LA on Tuesday um, and go check out the pharmacy I think overall my skin's doing pretty good uh, but as you can hear I'm sniffing a bit sinuses are clogged so I don't know if it's just because I haven't taken my antihistamines I didn't think they matter that much but maybe they do or it's just uh this city is maybe the air quality isn't as good for me personally as uh the cities in holland so um i guess it's also a good test and the other possibility is because yesterday was just uh, kind of chaotic and stressful uh, so maybe I will do okay in Frankfurt Germany after I get a, a little bit more rest but um, yeah yesterday even uh, at the lounge for dinner um, taking care of office things like changing changing my passwords and notifying uh, our credit card companies they didn't steal my credit cards but uh, credit card companies sometimes have travel protection. So uh, just ha have a lot of random stuff to do to document everything and contact people. Also, the residents in last night, um, 
they won't give me a refund last minute unless I get uh, more doctor, uh, I guess doctor's note or uh, just some evidence that I really am uh, so sensitive to paint and chemicals and odors that uh, have to change hotels. So uh, just got to do all that. Uh, first day out in Frankfurt, it's basically walking around the blocks around our hotel. It's, uh, I guess it's a shopping district with a lot of stores, uh, trying to find a pharmacy. But just being outside of the hotel for 10 seconds or so, I uh, can feel the air affecting me. It's, it's I guess, just not clean air. Uh, there's a lot of cars. Uh, but there might be other factories and stuff. I know Germany has a lot more industries than the Netherlands, but uh, I'm already feeling some brain fog just being out of the hotel for maybe about a minute or two and uh, pretty tired. Uh, mom keeps on coughing just being out here for a minute or two. So um, yeah, the air is not that great. And uh, we might just end up staying in the hotel for most of the time. Um, we'll check out the river. Uh, it's by the Mainz River that connects to the Rhine River. So uh, the air might be better there. Got some McDonald's that we had lunch at earlier today. I got the tyrosine from the pharmacy, which is the Zyrtec. They didn't have anything else. They didn't have the Pepsid, uh, Famotidine. They didn't have the... Uh, Allegra uh, Fexofenadine, that one uh, is prescription only. So got to get by with cetirazine until until Tuesday when we get back to LA. A ton more smokers than uh, in the Netherlands here. And uh, this is the best kind of mask that the pharmacy had. So I'll have to do for now. As I've said in my uh, allergy mask, review video uh, this kind of uh, surgical mask doesn't do anything for uh, blocking out pollution or even cigarette smoke and it's pretty true I'm just I'm still smelling everything luckily the air in this hotel has been amazing there's no odors uh, no fragrances uh, so it's been a good relief from being outside Tomorrow's never promised, but now is the time for hopes arising. Tomorrow's never promised, but now is the time for change that starts today. two-hour walk we we'll try to stay in the alleys and uh, just walk along the river uh, while we were on the bridge the air was actually pretty good there weren't that many smokers but um, I think it's just a general pollution uh, in this city uh, the masks uh, doesn't really help so uh, you can tell my throat is kind of closing up uh, my voice is a little raspy and uh, my sinuses are going. <clears throat> Friday night and uh, allergic reactions from the pollution and walking around outside uh, this afternoon. Uh, it's getting worse. <laughs> Uh, my nose has been uh, running and draining a lot of fluids for uh, like the past five hours. Uh, just started to uh, run uh, what, probably about like 5.45 on our way back to the hotel. Uh, so wearing those surgical masks that... Uh, they're like the best I could get at the pharmacy here. 
uh, that basically did nothing. I guess it kept out some pollen uh, and some larger dust items, but it does nothing to block out the smoke and the pollution and the chemicals. <laughs> so uh, my whole uh, sinus and airways are reacting and fl uh, flaring up. Um, <laughs> And I uh, just have all my tissue here because sometimes it just uh, starts straining really fast, dumping liquid from my nose. Uh, uh, I've taken all the antihistamines I've been able to get my hands on. Uh, was not able to get fexofenidine, uh, which is Allegra. Uh, Allegra has been helping my sinuses the most recently, but it requires a prescription here, I guess, uh, in Germany and also in Holland, where we're going back to uh, in like a day and a half. So um, <clears throat> I've also taken my gastrochrome, uh, mast cell stabilizer, uh, not feeling any benefits yet. So I guess I just have to suffer through this and wait it out. I've also taken my psychosporin dose for the day. I always take take it right before bed, uh, but it doesn't seem like it's, uh, it's helping with this uh, more acute reaction uh, to the smoke and pollution outside. Luckily, the hotel air is really really good i do want to compliment weston hotels for whatever kind of filter or uh and housekeeping uh procedure they have sometimes house uh sometimes the sheets smell like uh you know perfume or soap or something either from linen or just from the housekeepers who use those products uh on themselves, but uh, so far at the West End, uh, haven't haven't smelled anything that would trigger a reaction. So it's all outside. Um, hopefully, this will calm down enough that I can get some rest. But I'm thinking I may not want to go outside tomorrow and just wait it out. And uh, yeah, just stay in the hotel until our train back to the Netherlands uh, in a day and a half. Uh, so last night I ended up uh, also having a fever and a lot of flu-like symptoms. Uh, I think just the pollution and also the stress of traveling and having my bag stolen, my backpack stolen. Um, it was uh, day before yesterday was just a very long day <clears throat> that um, my immune just collapsed and um, even though my the allergic reactions I was talking about uh, that went away the flu just uh, uh, has felt horrible all night and uh, this morning it's calmed out a bit I've just been drinking a ton of water and slept most of the day but I still have um, still feel sore in my bones and still feel a little bit warm um, so <clears throat> yeah but uh, at least I'm well enough to stand up now wasn't able to do that last night or and earlier this morning <clears throat> so uh, we're gonna go out and get my breathing mask try to uh, we asked the concierge and uh, one of the waiters here uh, about some uh, hardware stores that are nearby um, so we're gonna go see if I can get a replacement mask uh, to hold me over until we get back to uh, LA and uh, after that we're gonna go to uh, one of the two pharmacies here right behind the hotel and uh, see if we can get Tylenol or the, the generic version or ibuprofen uh, because Tylenol has been helping me kind of keep my fever down so um, 
I'm definitely going to need it, especially for tomorrow for our train ride uh, from Germany back into the Netherlands. It's uh, Sunday, May 26th. It's the fourth day we've been here in Frankfurt, Germany. And uh, uh, my skin is getting a little bit more bumpy. Rashes are showing up and just uh, it's flaking like micro flakes, but it's enough to uh, make like a black surface uh, look a little bit powdery. Being here in Frankfurt has uh, made my skin and obviously my allergies and everything else uh, a little bit worse, reverting back to my, uh, kind of reverting back to how I do back in LA. Uh, so I guess it's just the uh, pollution here it really is that bad uh, compared to the Netherlands. In the Netherlands, my skin was doing great, uh, much, much better uh, than back in LA. Um, <laughs> Also, you can hear uh, my nose have finally stopped draining after about 48 hours. Uh, but it's, um, but both my sinuses are clogged now, whereas when I was in the Netherlands, uh, I was breathing uh, just about perfectly. All my sinuses were uh, clear. There was no inflammation uh, in my airways or my sinuses. Now I have to... Uh, here in Frankfurt, I have to use my inhaler once or twice a day. Uh, it's about uh, about the same or maybe a little bit more than when I'm in L.A. So uh, just being here in my situation, my health really is uh, uh, falling back to where uh, how it is in L.A. So uh, there's no real benefit for me to come to Germany. Finally made it to the train station, headed back to the Netherlands. We're going to Rotterdam this time. All right, here's the train. We made it here to Rotterdam in uh, the Netherlands, where we're going to stay for the next few nights uh, before we head back to LA. Second day back here, we're feeling so much better. Uh, it's about noon. Uh, I slept for probably 12 hours. Just so exhausted from uh, getting sick in Frankfurt and it carried it over um, just my illnesses won't stop <clears throat> once the flare-up starts so uh, even yesterday on the train there were parts where I felt like asthma was coming on and uh, my nose uh, my sinuses were draining on and off uh, but most <clears throat> mostly the train ride was pretty good as soon as we um, bored of the train, I started feeling a little bit better. Um, <clears throat> but, I mean, just traveling and carrying around four big pieces of luggage that we thought we were going to need, staying at the Airbnb uh, in here in Holland, staying at the Airbnb here in Holland for six weeks. We brought so much stuff. <clears throat> And uh, lugging that around has been kind of difficult. Um, but luckily, the, uh, this Marriott here in Rotterdam is right, literally right across the street from the train station. You can see it uh, from inside the train station. So um, it's pretty easy to get here. Uh, and I'm just enjoying soaking up the fresh air here. Uh, I think the air, air in the Netherlands is really that clean uh, just by breathing it. Uh, it's therapeutic and my body starts to heal. <coughs> uh, <coughs> but uh, just but being in Frankfurt and having uh, so much phlegm and having such a bad reaction so fast, uh, it's accumulated a lot of phlegm and I'm finally getting a chance uh, to get that out so I think that's why I'm coughing but uh, and I know my face just looks really red uh, just from I guess this is more of a healing red it's finally having a chance to uh, peel off all the damage that <coughs> happened <coughs> it's finally getting a chance to peel off all the damage that happened in Frankfurt um, but yeah, we fly out tomorrow uh, back to L.A., so we're just going to take it easy today and and rest. Um, 
might go out for a stroll along the harbor here. Uh, and there's not a whole lot of sightseeing stuff to do in Rotterdam. It's more of a, it's a, it's a, I think it's the biggest port in Europe. So it's more about businesses and shipping. Um, so, uh, <clears throat> so, but we're going to try to find a couple places that are close enough for us to walk to.